Hey, Vicky Lynn here. Wow, wasn't this last weekend a amazing, amazing? Um, the energy was just amazing. You could feel the change. But on 1010 yesterday, um, I woke up and I felt like I was disoriented. I felt like like having a out of body experience while in the body, like I was floating around. Like I, it took me a while to get um, grounded. And um, I didn't really know what was going on, but I just felt different yesterday. I felt disoriented. I felt like, wow, I just, all this stuff. Well, then I found out it's the 1010 and it was the uh, portal and it's bringing in the new beginnings. And wow, wow, wow. It hit me hard. It hit me hard. And uh, last night when I was at, looking at the stars, wow, um, a rainbow portal came down and it put this light in through my body and I'm going to allow it to go through you guys too so just close your eyes take a deep breath and focus on whatever comes color comes to you that's the color that you're receiving now feel it at the bottom of your feet in your hands feel it up and we thank you. We thank you. Wow. And just as, as powerful as if you guys felt it in your body, it was a hundred times powerful last night. Wow. It just started making me cry. And um, the color that they were filling me in was uh, was like purple, pinks, just all these different colors, of, even actually colors I didn't even, I can't even describe. But anyway, wow, wow, wow. And the new beginnings and this full moon we are having and it's in Aries. And um, Aries is the beginning of the, uh, uh, oh my gosh, they're coming forward. So um, of the solar, well, I can't even talk, of our signs. And so Aries is number one and we're going into a full moon of Aries. So it's new beginnings for everything. New beginnings, we have let go all that crap and now we're going into new beginnings. So um, today is going to be to surrender to all that so that you can accept that. You can't um, receive stuff if you do not get rid of the programming in your body and that's what we are here to do, to get rid of the programming. And I feel them coming forward now, um, my guides, but I want to pull a card. And as you could tell, I have my bungee stones, the male and the female, because the energies, my energy level has gone off the charts. I mean, wow. And I know that you guys can feel it because I see it in your comments and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, actually I did a lot of learning too this weekend about through readings. Cause I just got on the internet. I mean, wow. And I had a reading and I can't send an email. I not whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna start doing through, um, Facebook and through FaceTime and yeah, We'll make it happen. So if you want a reading, let me know. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to pull a card. See, they're clearing me. I can't even remember what I'm doing. So Ascending Masters, we're going to pull one card. Let's see what Ascending Master that it's here with us right now with all of us. And let's see what they have to say. So, wow. 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 Oh, and one of my friends, she wanted to know what does locking in your energy mean? Locking in your energy means we have a, a, a umbilical cord of energy that goes from uh, source all the way through the back of our back, through our chakra system, all the way through, through Mother Gaia. So whenever I say locking it in, you are literally locking it in to the heart, the true authentic Mother Gaia. And that holds you steady because you're connected to stores and you're connected to Mother Gaia, the authentic Mother Gaia, not the illusion that they are talking about now. So, um, yeah, that's what you want to do because if we got a clear connection, anything can run through us. If we got all this crap, nothing's going to run through us. Wow, this card is like sticking together. So, let's see what Ascending Master we have. And it is wow, wow. Lost me. We so need this flow of prosperity. And that's for all of us. The flow of prosperity is going to happen for all of us. Things are going to change. Money, love, happiness, everything. You let go of all that crap from the past, everything that you've been working on. And we've let go of that. Now everything's going to flow forward. And yeah, thank you. Flow of prosperity. I do want to see what uh, 
she says, let me see, let me look up where she's at. Mm. I wish they had put numbers, it makes it easier. Huh. Is it under? Wow. Wow, I cannot find it for no reason. I cannot find it. Maybe I'm not meant to find it. If, if I'm meant to find it, let me find it right now. And it is not showing. So it's not meant, it's just that. It's just that flow of prosperity. You know what I mean? Easier said. Absolutely. There isn't no card, I guess, that we need to read for that. So I thank you, Lashkvi, for uh, being there with us and guiding us through this next dimension. So I'm going to come forward um, because I feel the guides here right now. And um, so I want you to take a deep breath. We're going to do this together. And I want you not to concentrate on my words, but concentrate on the vibration around you, what you feel in your body, how you feel in your body, and what resonates. Everything that else that does it not resonate, just let it fall away. So, and I thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, all of you. I thank you for doing your work. So, we're going to take a deep breath in, hands to your heart, deep breath in through your nose. Hold. Release once again. Release one more time. Release. Hmm. Arion here. Hey, dear ones. Wow. Lots have happened since the last time that I've seen you. And we are checking in with all the heart centers right now. So feel into your heart. Feel us connect to your heart. Balance. Through this last shift, more people died a death. Not so much of the physical. A lot of people died of the physical. Bit of self. Lots and lots. You guys are doing your work. We are celebrating, celebrating, celebrating on the other side. We are about to go through another shift within this next week with the full moon. Connecting to Mother Gaia. Feel it run through your feet. Feel it run through the top of your head. Now that we are fully connected, Arion here, and um, the message is to surrender. You need to surrender all that stuff, all that crap that's in these meat suits. In these meat suits carries all programs, all stuff from all lifetimes, and we are going to release it now. So I want you to repeat after me. I allow Arion to release everything from all dimensions, from all timelines, past, present, and future. Now, as never before, I release all stuff now. It will feel like a washing away, even in some aspects, maybe even burning on the skin, but it is all washing away. Now, as of last time we talked that you were going through the door, the door is still open and we are pulling you through. We are anchoring you into the fifth dimensional energy. The 1010 portal was the fifth dimensional energy and you have done your work. We have anchored it in. Now, you are all just residue of that. So we are helping you to assist you to anchor it in daily. The more you anchor it in through the day, anchor in the fifth dimensional energy, anchor in the highest version of you, the highest potential of you. Now, when we surrender everything else, it all falls away.
I am a Gaia here. I want to thank you. I want to thank each and every one of you for doing your works. For as in doing your works, you help stop earthquakes, storms. You make them more gentle to the world. Not that they're not going to happen because we, I am going through in a major shift. But in this shift, when you, hmm, light worker, hmm, shaman, hmm, whoever, when you do your work, it makes it more gentle for the whole. I am clearing you all now, Mother Gaia, and connecting you to your higher self. The fifth dimensional you, anchoring it in and locking it down with roots that are locked there. It cannot be released. Once you are locked in, you will never be released. But you can't have programs in your body to be locked in. So you have to do your work. You have to do your suffering. But the suffering is only intent as you want it. Go into your bedroom, scream, cry, yell. Do whatever you need to do. As a channel, this channel puts it. Let go of all the dark. We do not call it dark. It just is. I am hmm, all aspects of light and dark and whatever. I am all of that, just as you are all of that. Hmm, a dear one uh, said in a comment, you cannot see the stars without the dark. This is right. You cannot see light without the dark. So surrender the dark and the light to come together, join. Now as never before. I, Mother Gaia, thank you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel me around you, dear one. For I am always with you. Call upon me. You do not need to just call upon your angels and your guides and your descending masters and your gods and your whoever. You can also call upon me, Mother Gaia, the authentic Mother Gaia. I, too, can help. I do. Ariane, here. I want to thank you, and I always allow Mother Gaia to come through unannounced whenever she needs to. I, Arion, and of the highest dimension, the 11th and 12th dimension, I am clearing you, I am healing you on all levels. And we thank you. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. Wow. 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 Okay. Um, I don't know what was said there, but they're coming forward and they want me to do light language. So we're going to do a healing of light language and whatever. Whatever you get. Just listen to the vibration. Feel the vibration and let it be. Kopachina na na china mole kina achina mole kana pole china mole kana ina ane ina ane kala mole kina solo mo kachanina sala mo kina chalina pole kina china asalo Kala mole kina mole kina ani an abo kina ani ina chi sala mole kita sala kina pole kina chala mo ti sa ti asala komo asala kala sa. Now with my light language, um, 
all I ever get is like visuals and they were showing me balancing in the body and also healing. So yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm doing whatever they want. And I love you and I thank you, thank you, thank you all for choosing you, for choosing you. Because you know what? Love your heart. Once you love your heart, it emanates out to the world. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I do.